community, black community does not need to change. That was Governor Gavin Newsom today speaking about racial inequality in the U.S. and here in California. The governor says not enough has been done to help minorities. He also said today protesters should have the right to protest peacefully and not have to worry about being shot by rubber bullets or tear gas. That's why he's calling for a new standard for use of force. Carotid hold that literally is designed to stop people's blood from flowing into their brain. That has no place any longer in 21st century. The governor says he has told the peace officers standards and training to stop training that hold. Choke holes are already banned here in California. Now, this is the first action by the governor after more than a week of protests for police reform. The eight can't wait national campaign highlights these eight policies that together they say may reduce police violence by 72%. ABC 10's Van 2 has more. Sacramento police has enacted five of eight can't wait recommended policies, but it has not adopted a use of force continuum and does not completely ban shooting at moving cars and all chokeholds. Tonight, the Sacramento teen in this viral video and the woman who filmed it demand the tactic be banned. Chaos as an officer restrains 18-year-old Tyson Johnson by his neck Monday night past curfew downtown. Another pinning his legs, he can be heard shouting, I can't breathe. I started slapping the wall, trying to tap out, trying to let him know, like, hold on, man, you don't gotta do all this. Filming 27-year-old Zakaya Guillory says she stepped in knowing George Floyd uttered the same words before dying. Now I'm like in fear that they, they're going to kill him, the same exact thing of the reason why we're protesting. Bonded in this moment, they're demanding the ban of carotid restraint control hold. It's a use of force allowed by Sacramento police when someone is being assaultive and it appears necessary to prevent serious bodily injury, even though the California Department of Justice says this policy needs to go. It is complete ignorance to continually employ a tactic that your department has already told you to stop employing. Johnson, an Edison High School class of 2020 graduate, is challenging the police account that he was actively looting and resisting arrest. I was looking through my backpack for my phone. He says he initially ran out of fear. Because you don't know I was going to end. He says he was on the ground, tired when police caught up. I was already ready to comply. Another angle shows Guillory bum rushed by another officer. <laughs> leaving her with deep scrapes and bruises. Police say the crowd was hostile. She says she was not obstructing officers. And I was just recording, doing my piece, because I wasn't going to sit there and let him be another victim to police brutality. The pair is traumatized but want change. They believe Johnson was targeted and now faces two felonies and a misdemeanor charge in a court system that seems set up against the recent graduate. I was just trying to get my life together. I was trying to figure out what I want to do. And all of a sudden, I, this giant setback, it's not, it's just not the way. Keep in mind that use of force incident is now under review. Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg tweeted his support for the move today, saying he wants further public discussion about banning all types of chokeholds. Carotid restraint is not a chokehold. Chokeholds are already banned by most police departments, including the Sacramento Police Department. New tonight, the president of the Sacramento Police Officers Association, Timothy Davis, released a statement early on. But tonight he's making his first public comments about the George Floyd case and the new calls for police reform. Uh, when I saw the video of what happened in uh, Minnesota, I was outraged, as were most of our officers. Nobody hates a bad cop more than a good cop. Three former Minneapolis officers are facing two charges, including aiding and abetting second degree murder. But the attorneys are shifting the blame to 19 year veteran officer Derek Chauvin, seen with his knee on Floyd's neck for nearly nine minutes. We're angry about that, too, because that type of policing should never occur. Uh, in Sacramento, our policies uh, would restrict those types of behaviors and that type of action wouldn't be tolerated. At the same time, Davis says banning the carotid restraint will make life more difficult for officers. Yeah, it will make it um, more difficult for them in some circumstances when it's used, you know, it, it's it's when it's needed. And if you take that away, those are situations where officers may be injured because they don't have it as a tool or they'll have to use a, um, a different form of force to take the violent resistor into uh, custody and that uh, that form may cause more significant injuries than the carotid would. 
know, they might have to use their firearm or a taser or a baton. But with the governor and the mayor now backing the move, Davis says he's open to the conversation. You know, we're always open to have these types of conversation. The Sacramento Police Department has always been on the cutting edge of, um, of our policies. You know, the Minneapolis Police Department also announced it is banning chokeholds. Police are now required to report and intervene anytime there is unauthorized force by another officer. These are the first steps the department has taken since the death of George Floyd.